I'd like to think the Brother Machine behind me is very much like myself, small, compact and fast. Would you agree, Paul? And low maintenance. Uh, yes. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, economical. <laughs> that is what these machines are about. They are. They are powerful machines, but with a very small footprint now. They are. The technology that you're seeing here is something that we explored uh, a few years ago at exhibitions um, when they were first introduced. They really add a different dimension to manufacturing. And certainly for companies like here at Ashby Engineering, having a machine that is this flexible gives them so many opportunities when pricing components. Okay, so when you say it's this fe flexible, I know that, okay, you'd look at this and it's a, a, a machining center, but the power on that table to be able to turn is amazing. This is a machine that is a full five axis machine, but it has the turning capability as well, which as I'm sure you're gonna show the audience in a minute, parts like this, I mean, this is just one example of many of components that they've machined essentially in, in uh, two operations, front and back, but they've done all of the turning and all of the milling. And what it means is most parts that you would look at and you might think, I've got to go and do that operation on a lathe and then bring it back to a five axis machine, do it all on one hit on a machine like this in such a small uh, footprint as well. So it doesn't even consume much of your factory. And I can't get over the fact of how tiny the footprint is. All set up for automation too. Yep, you can have these geared up to automation so that they could be running lights out. Um, you know, they can be loading parts, unloading parts. Uh, they have a system which uh, works on it like a vision system. So again, even if the, the shapes are irregular castings, all of those things can be catered for by this machine. Outside of this particular model, Brother and the Speedio are known for, as the name perfectly illustrates, yep. very high speed machining. Um, this machine in itself, I think the, the, the tool change chip to chip is about 1.4 seconds. Yes. You've got 22 tools on here. Um, you know, that, that turning table will turn at 2,000 RPM. So, you know, for, for challenging manufacturing solutions, they really are ideal. I'm going to test you then. Vertical machining center or this type of machine, where does it fit in the marketplace and who is going to be after one of these? I think what we always have to look at is parts where you think, right, I've got to take this from one machine to another machine, because when you start doing that, all you're doing is um, taking more time. For one, you're risking uh, the, the part being inaccuracies over the changeover process. You're involving an operator. You're doing all those things that we're trying to get away from, and you're doing it on one machine, um, which is not only fast, powerful, and all those things yeah. you said, it's economical as well when it comes to power consumption. These are sometimes things that we don't consider, but you should. And where can I get one? White House Machine Tools uh, are the seller of these machines. Ashby Engineering purchased this about, I think it was about a year ago. Some of the work that's been going through here, some of the ways that it's, cha it's changed how they think. It's yes. changed how they think that's about the making one. components. And I think if you're after reliable, you know, uh, manufacturing on high value parts and you want them off in, in one operation or one hit, then these machines are perfect.